Okay, next. Uh, now this is iron 3 to iron 2. Uh. Just now it's iron 2 to iron 3, right? Now this is iron 3 to iron 2. So you see the change of the color is from brown colors to green color. Brown colors to green color. And uh, uh, these times we use zinc powder as the, the, redu as the uh, uh, reducing agent. Okay, zinc powder as a reducing agent. Huh? Okay, so uh, observations, we can see that the zinc powder dissolve in the solutions. Huh? This zinc powder dissolve. And then the brown color, the brown colors of the solutions turn green. Huh? Turn green. Okay, so brown color is iron 3 ion, green is iron 2 ion. Uh, that's observations. Huh? Now let's see the half equations. The half equation is from iron 3. Iron 3 to iron 2. Uh. Iron 3 to iron 2 ions. And to make it balanced, we need to plus electrons uh, to the left hand side. Okay. And then uh, zinc. Zinc, we have Zn to Zn2 positive. Uh. Zinc to zinc ion or zinc ion to zinc. Uh, equation 1, equation 2. So which one is the correct half equations? Okay, for these reactions, zinc powder, iron 3 sulfate to iron 2, okay, zinc powder become uh, colorless, okay, and dissolve, the zinc powder dissolve in the solutions. Which one is the correct half equations, zinc to zinc ion or zinc ion to zinc, one or two? Equation one, yes, that's correct, okay, because before reaction is zinc metal, uh, zinc metal, after reaction it becomes zinc ion. So equation one is correct, okay. And to write the ionic equations, uh, okay, this one uh, we need to plus two electron, uh, okay, to make the charge zero, right hand side. So now write the ionic equation. Here we have two electron, here one electron. Uh, so the one electrons ones we need to multiply by two. Uh, then it become a two Fe, three positive plus Zn produces uh, two Fe, 2 positive plus uh, Zn2 positive. So these are ionic equations. Okay, ionic equations. Tell me which one is oxidizing agent and which one is a reducing agent? Iron 3 or zinc? Okay, tell me the oxidizing agent first. Huh? How to check? Okay, you see uh, whether it undergoes oxidations or reductions. Huh? Three, positive 3 to positive 2. Decrease, right? Positive 2 to positive, uh, positive 3 to positive 2 decrease. So this is a reduction. If this is reduction, then another one must be oxidation. Huh? So this undergoes reduction, this undergoes oxidation. Oxidations, huh? And for oxidizing agent, uh, it must be the one that undergoes reductions. Huh? Okay? Oxidation, a oxidizing agent undergoes reductions. Uh, this is the oxidizing agent. Fe, 3 positive. And reducing agent is the zinc. Uh, change of iron 3 to iron 2 ions, uh, confirmation test. Okay, now we do the same test again. Eh? Add sodium hydroxide to see whether there's a precipitate. If there's precipitate, then add more sodium hydroxide and then see the color. So under this uh, observations, uh, this, this test, okay, we found that the solutions uh, become dark, uh, dirty green precipitate. If you see the color, it should be green color. But if you add sodium hydroxide, eh, then it becomes dirty green precipitate which does not dissolve in excess sodium hydroxide solution is formed. That is a, conf a confirmation test. Both confirmation tests also we use a uh, brick. Okay, for other reducing agent, magnesium, uh, half equations, uh, half equations. Uh, so these are half equations. And uh, the ionic equations, uh, we multiply by 2. Okay, so 2 Fe 3 positive plus mg, then you get 2Fe, 2 positive plus mg2 positive. Okay, so this is the uh, ionic equations. For sulfur dioxide, no observations, and uh, this is the half equations. And for the ionic equations, also uh, we multiply by 2. 2Fe3 two positive plus SO2 plus 2H2O produces 2 Fe2 positive plus sulfate plus uh, 4 hydrogen ions. Hydrogen sulfide, 
no observations. Uh, this is the half equations. For the ionic equations, again, we multiply by 2, uh, okay? So 2Fe, 3 positive plus H2S, hydrogen, hydrogen sulfide, plus uh, 2 ion, 2 ions, plus uh, 2 hydrogen ion, plus uh, sulfur. So the confirmation test for ion 2, ion 3, yeah? so we use uh, potassium hexacyanoferrate 2. Uh, if the product is a uh, light blue precipitate, then it's uh, ion 2 ion. If it's dark blue, then it's ion 3. You need to memorize this. Eh? Okay. Uh, for uh, hexacyanoferrate 3, if, it, if it's dark blue, then it's ion 2. If it's a greenish brown solution, then it's iron three. And for uh, potassium thiocyanate, pinkish solutions, iron two. Blood red solution, iron three. Uh, this one just a revision, sir, for form four salt. Okay, you should have learned this in salt. Eh?